Joshua in Jericho. Do you remember the three promises God made to Abraham? Let's see. Uh, oh yes. Your children will become a great nation. They will have their own land and, uh... It has something to do with a blessing. Oh yeah. And from your family will come a great blessing for the whole world. You remember. Well, it had been 500 years since God made those promises. And only the first one had come true. Sort of. Abraham's family had grown to be a nation. The Israelites. But we don't have our own land. And the blessing for the whole world hasn't happened either. They had seen the promised land, but there were already big, strong people there. The Israelites were too scared to trust God. They had disobeyed God over and over again. So, God put them in a timeout. Timeout? How long was it? Forty years. What? That's a really long time out. It was. But the Israelites got the point after wandering around the desert all those years and said, OK, God, we're sorry. We'll trust you. Finally, Israel's long time out was over, and they could enter the Promised Land. So Moses, their leader, gave a long speech reminding the people of everything God had done for them and all the laws he had given them. Then the people said, We're going to trust God for sure this time. Then Moses walked up a mountain and died. Wait, what? He died? He did. He died. He got to see the promised land from the top of the mountain, but he never got to go in. So the people didn't have a leader. Actually, they did, because God chose a new leader to take his people there, a man named Joshua. Now, Joshua was a man who trusted God. He led all the Israelites across the Jordan River and into Canaan. K, K what? Canaan, the promised land. So they did get to the promised land. Yes, but when they got there, they still were not alone. There was a city already there, a pretty big one, a city called Jericho. And it had big, strong walls with big, strong people. And, uh... It still doesn't look like they want us here. We don't. The big, strong people of Big Strong Jericho did not want the Israelites moving into their land. What are we going to do, Joshua? Joshua knew God was giving them that land, but the people of Jericho didn't care about Israel's God. You're not going any further. Our big, strong walls will keep you out. Oh, no. So what did the Israelites do? Well, it seemed there was nothing they could do. Until... Until? God gave Joshua some very strange instructions. March around the city one time each day for six days. On the seventh day, March around the city seven times and have your priests blow horns. When the horns blow, have everyone yell, and the walls of Jericho will fall down. What? God's instructions must have sounded really strange to Joshua. March around the city six days, then blow the horns and yell, and the big huge walls will just fall down? Hmm. I trust God, but do I really trust him this much? So what did Joshua do? As Joshua thought about it, he remembered how God had saved the Israelites, including him, from slavery in Egypt. Thank you, God. He also remembered how God fed them in the desert. Thank you, God. Yum. 
Joshua realized that God had always done what he said he would do. Big, strong Jericho was no match for Israel's big, strong God. And so he said, Start marching! Joshua led the Israelites as they marched around Jericho for six days. Joshua and the Israelites really trusted God. Yes, and the people of Jericho were probably making fun of them the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> there they go again, walking in circles. But Joshua and the Israelites continued to trust God. Then, on the seventh day, they marched around the city seven times. And then Joshua said, Blow your trumpets and yell, just like God said. <laughs> and guess what happened? What? The walls of Jericho began to shake. Whoa! And shake some more. <laughs> and then... Uh-oh! The walls are tumbling down! Amazing! It was! As soon as the walls came down, Joshua and the Israelites rushed into the Promised Land. The land God promised to Abraham. That's right. All because Joshua... Trusted his big, strong God to do what he said he would do. Do you want more Laugh and Grow Bible? What do you mean? Sign up for Minnow and get more Bible stories and loads more amazing shows. Wow! How cool is that? Minnow is a great place to stream Christian shows for kids. Amazing! Download the Minnow app and start your free trial today. Yay!